Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse like crazy hair. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. This week has been crazy. There's a big water leak in our hallway. Both my children are teething. It's just been madness and I've got like five, ten minutes to film this video while my kids are eating their lunch. So let's get into it. This, These are my winter goes and knows. I don't have a ton of stuff to share but there have been some things that I've loved this season and some things that I have not loved. So let's start with the things, well actually no, I don't know if I'm going to do it in any particular order. Let's just go for it. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is kind of a mixed review. Um, most of the stuff I have to share is like makeup related or beauty related. Um, this is the eye and face palette from Essence. I got this about a week ago um, on recommendation from Sarah Therese if you watch her on YouTube. Um, and really. There's, the only thing I got this for was the highlight in it. The blush is pretty. It's not as pigmented as I usually like my blush to be, but it is pretty. So if you're just looking for something like natural and glowy, it is good. Um, and these are just like, meh, they're not great. But this is beautiful. I'm not one for like a strobing highlight or anything. This one just gives you a really nice glow. Um, and I, I've been really enjoying it. I think it was only about eight dollars or so, New Zealand dollars, so it didn't cost me much. And I love the highlighter in it. Before now, I've been using um, the Elf highlighter. I can't remember which one it's called. It's like the champagne color one, though. I think they do a pink one, like a champagne color one. Um, and I love that one too, and I do still use it. But this is really great as a backup. Something that I do not love um, is this mascara. I bought this, I don't know, a month or so ago. It was. It's also from Essence. Yeah, I've got one more thing from Essence to show you. Um, yeah, I got it about a month ago. It was about seven or eight dollars, not very much. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And that is a strong word for me to use for like makeup stuff. But this is horrible. And I've heard people raving on about it. But I, it makes my eyelashes super, super clumpy, like gross clumpy. I don't mind a little bit, but like this is gross. Also, the brush is pretty much huge um, in my opinion and so I just got mascara all over my eyelids and I always get mascara on my eyelids I just do I'm clumsy but this was like on another level I found it really difficult to control there was way too much product like I would literally like scrape the mascara off of the brush it might be okay once it's dried out a bit but I just do not care for it it transfers throughout the day just yeah my least favorite mascara that I've ever tried um, so that's essence Lash Princess Mascara. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. On to the next thing um, is here. I'll do a non-makeup product. Is my new nappy bag. I am in love with this nappy bag. I did a full review of it last week. I'll link that video here. You can go check it out. Um, it has everything in it that I need. It cost me. It was really super affordable. It cost me less than fifty New Zealand dollars, including postage. I highly recommend it. Go check out the review if you're looking for a new nappy bag. Then the next thing that I'm going to mention is something I just started using again recently, but I've actually had it for like years, and it is Maybelline New York's Baby Lips. Um, which I know that these are super popular for some people, but I just recently found mine again in like an old purse and it's got plenty of um, product in it. So I started using it and I'm wearing it now. It's essentially a lip balm, um, but it's got color in it. So it's awesome. For me as a mom, I'm busy. I don't want something that transfers everywhere, which a lot of lipsticks do. I want something that's like, I don't have to have a mirror to apply it because it's just a bit more forgiving, but it gives enough color so that I don't look washed out and exhausted. You know, it just makes me look a little bit more put together. This is awesome and it's also super moisturizing for my lips. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I know they do still sell them. So have a look um, at your Maybelline counter or whatever and you should be able to find these. Anything here that I like and recommend, I will try and find a link for if I can find one and put it in the description below. Okay, let's talk about something that I also really despise. Like, I don't know if it's as bad as this. No, actually it probably is about the same level of badness. Um, it is Rimmel's Provocalypse. This is supposed to be one of those two-step lipsticks where you put it on, wait for it to dry down, and then you put a gloss on top and it's supposed to last like 16 hours. It's horrible, absolutely horrible. First of all, like it was so difficult to apply, um, even when I had exfoliated my lips, everything. I tried everything. 
Um, so you put this bit on here, which is the color, and I really like the color. It's a nice nude color, but um, yeah, it doesn't. It looks streaky, and then if you did build it up and did like a second layer, it started to get clumpy, and it would just like roll off, like literally roll off. Um, this part is your like gel, or even it was more like a balm almost, um, and it was okay. But it only lasted a really short time, and then as soon as it came off, your lips just felt super, super dry, and it just, it came off quickly, but not only that, but it like wore off terribly. It looked awful. It looked like your lips were peeling. It was gross. So I do not recommend this, and I, it was more expensive. I mean, it is a drugstore product, but it was more expensive than other things, you know, and yeah, it's kind of put me off ever trying any more of these two-step lipsticks. On to the last two good things from the season one. I also did a review of this a few weeks ago and I can link that here. It is um, from World Organics. I tried out a whole bunch of their skincare products and I loved all of them. Um, so if you're looking for a natural skincare organic range then I would highly recommend them. Um, I will link their website in the description, you can go check that out. Um, I really, really love their products. Super moisturizing, they smell delicious. It was just, oh, I'm so glad I got to try them. And then finally, a thing, a positive thing to end on is actually a mascara that I do like, also from Essence. I got this on recommendation from um, Sarah Therese as well. I think both of these products were like in the same video that she did. Um, and it is Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. This is what it looks like, it's black. Hi, Jack's coming in. I'm just doing a little video, so just wait there, okay? I won't be long. Um, it is in a black bottle with purple on it, and I love it. It does, it transfers a little bit, but nothing like the other one did, and it is so much easier to apply. Um, it gives my um, lashes volume, it helps them curl, it, they, yeah, I just, I'm wearing it now. I don't even know if you can tell from this far away, but it's really, really nice. The brush is sculpted, and I think, like, because it is quite a long brush still, but I think because it's curved like that, it makes it a lot easier to apply. I do not make nearly so much of a mess with it. Um, I love it. I really love it, and I highly recommend it. Again, it was only like seven or eight dollars, so um, this, this has my recommendation. This does not. And that's a wrap. Those are all the products that I loved this winter and I'm really looking forward to spring now and trying out some new things. Jack, he's looking at himself in the viewfinder. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. <laughs> and Hi. subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.